good to see everybody here this morning for homecoming. I want to welcome everybody uh, here to Hopewell Baptist Church. Uh, some of you, most of you know who I am. Some of you may be wondering who is that and what's he doing up there. Well, my name is Ricky Darling, and uh, we, we have a devotion every Sunday morning before Sunday school. So I'd like to invite you back. We have it at 945 every Sunday morning. But um, I just want to welcome everybody here this morning, and, and I know that um, there's going to be many people here today who, whom Hopewell holds a special place in their heart, a very special place in their hearts. And I just wanted to tell you some things this morning about how, how special it is to me and why it holds such a special place in my heart. And the main reason that Hopewell is so special to me is because this is where I was saved. This is where I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, right here in this church. And it was back in uh, 1988. That was, a, that was a pretty long time ago. So a lot of you weren't even here then in 1988. You weren't even born yet. But that's the main reason that, it, that it's so special to me, just the friends I've made here over the years. And... Another thing that makes this church so special uh, to me is this is where um, this is where I met someone who is the most important person in my life. Th this is where we were married, right up here. That's another reason it'll always be so special to me. And also, my my mother's funeral was right here at Hopewell Baptist Church. Many of us, I've been to many funerals here of church members and loved ones. Many of us have loved ones who've gone on to be with the Lord, and they're buried right up here in Hopewell Cemetery. And it really, it just holds a special place in, in a lot of our hearts today. And, you know, we people are here from all over. I don't know who, who's... Uh, Traveled, Brother Jimmy may ask you this later, but how many of you have traveled over, say, 50 miles to be here today? <laughs> Maybe over 100 miles. Oh. Okay. But, you know, I just, I just want to say this this morning, that we're... We're all here, and it's great to be here on homecoming. It's great to see people we haven't seen in a while. It's great to see our friends. It's great to see our relatives. But, and, and we're going to hear a lot about the church today, about its history, from people who know a lot more about it than I do. But we don't need to lose sight that the main reason that we're here today is to worship and to praise our Savior, Jesus Christ. That's why we're all here today. That's the main reason that we're here today. And that should be the only reason that we're here today. We should, and, and that's what I hope this morning. I'm, I, I want to get you ready for that. Because that's what we're going to have here this morning. We're going to have people come up and sing praises to God this morning. People who he is blessed with that ability, that he has given that gift. We're going to hear the word of God preached this morning. And let's just not lose sight of that that's why we're here. That's the main purpose for being here today is, is for that reason. And I just wanted this to truly be a day of worship and praise here at Hopewell. I want to read one verse of Scripture, and um, it talks about how we are to worship. It's John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. It says, But the hour cometh, and is now when the true worshiper, worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. It says, God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Isn't it wonderful that God is spirit? What that means for us today is that no matter uh, where we are, no matter where we where our home church is, 
and, and we worship God there, we can come to get, all come together here and worship that same God because he is spirit. It doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. We can worship God anywhere that we are. And that's what it means that, that God is spirit. And, and to worship him in spirit means for us to worship him with everything that we have. We need to worship God with our mind, with our body and soul. We need to give him our best. We need to give him everything that we have here this morning. And we're going to also worship him in truth. Because you're going to hear the truth preached here today. You're going to hear the word of God open today and preach from And that's the truth. And that's how we're to worship him today, in spirit and truth. So even though it's, it's great to see everybody here, I'm glad you're all here. But let's just let's keep our focus on what it should be on this morning, on worshiping a true and a living God. That's why we're here this morning. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. And first of all, God, we just want to thank you. And we just want to praise you for who and, and for all that you are. You, you're just an amazing God and God we just thank you for your love and your mercy and grace and just for all the wonderful blessings that you give us each and every day God I want to thank you so much this morning for, for Hopewell Baptist Church for what it means to me and for what it has meant in my life and what it means to so many here God but I just pray right now God that as we begin this worship service that we have come today truly to worship you we might just put aside um, all those things, God, that clutter our mind, and we'll just concentrate solely on you and your presence here with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.